Hello there, Digital Warfare 24-7. What is going on? My name is Carnage, and today I'm bringing you a little bit of Black Ops gameplay. But I'm not really going to be talking about Black Ops so much. I'm going to be mainly talking about me, as this is kind of my re-entry back into this channel. I kind of took a break from this whole Call of Duty YouTube thing, but I'm back, and I'm back to posting quality videos on this channel, helping out, helping it grow. And uh, hope you guys enjoy it. So if you can't tell, this is something I do on my channel. I like to put background music in and I kind of pick a different artist every day, every video at least. And right now I have Eminem playing in the background, which is probably my favorite artist. And the two songs that I've picked for this sort of 10 minute long video are Without Me from his 2002 album, The Eminem Show, and then also Sing for the Moment from that same album. So. Since this video is about 10 minutes long, what I decided to talk about is MW3 because we all know it's E3 is approaching and we all know that they're going to expose something at E3. We all know they're going to they're going they're hinting at it. They're 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 teasing us almost. They're putting it right out in front of us and every time we try and grab at something, they pull a little farther away. They want us to think that something's going to be there and I honestly think that they're going to show some MW3 footage at E3. So Mainly what I'm going to talk about are the things that I've found out beforehand, what Robert Bullion has, cons has confirmed, and then I'm going to compare Modern Warfare 3 to Battlefield 3, which one I think is going to be better, which one I think is going to sell more, and which I think is going to be overall more enjoyable. So let's start with what Robert Bullion has confirmed. So there's been some speculation going around that stopping power is going to be returning and customization is going to suck and all that, and that has actually been proven false. Robert Bowling, about two days ago, someone posted on uh, Twitter asking him if uh, Stop and Bower is going to be returning and other perks such as OMA, Commando, and I think Danger Close. And three of the four he said are not are not returning. He said Stop and Power is not going to return, OMA is not going to return, and Commando is not going to return. He wasn't. He never said it. He didn't say anything about Danger Close. He really just didn't really answer the question. So I'm, I'm assuming they're bringing that back, which. Hopefully they'll make it something like Danger Close does not affect noob tubes. I'm really hoping that that I just don't have to deal with that again. So let's talk about stopping power because what I'm thinking they're gonna do, um, they haven't said anything about it, uh, like how the snipers are gonna do or anything like that. But what I'm thinking they're gonna do because I know that most of the people in Mono for Two and Infinity Ward want to keep sniping a lot like Mono for Two because they know that people liked it in that game. So what I'm guessing they're going to do is they're going to up the damage meters on the guns and they're going to make it so it's still one hit kills with snipers or mostly one hit kills and they're going to just remove stopping power from the game so it allows for people to use slide of hand which is they, I, I'm guessing they're going to think there's going to be more customization but I'm pretty sure that there won't be it'll just it'll end up being like Black Ops where everyone's middle perk was slide of hand pro with you know the exception of some people using steady aim but if you looked and you asked who, what perk do you normally use in the middle, I guarantee you 9 out of 10 people are going to say steady aim. So, also, another thing that they said would not be returning is nukes. So, this is kind of causing some controversy because there, you got the people who are big YouTubers who really like nukes like Sandy Ravage and Thunder Toro who are actually quite upset about this. They, do, they, they want to see nukes returning. They want to see that returning. Um, personally, I... I'm actually kind of happy they're not returning because I think that COD 4 and World of War had its fair share, share of camping, but when you brought Mono for 2 into it and you compared it to that, I think it was way, way too much, way too high. Uh, the levels of camping were just through the roof. And granted, people were boosting for camos, but if you think about it, the next thing people were boosting for were nukes. So I guess it's a good idea from that standpoint not to bring nukes back. And honestly, when I think of how people are mad that nukes are coming back, why would you want to have a 20? Why would you want to have a kill streak on that is 25 kills? And why would you want to waste a kill streak on that? Because if you were good enough to get 25 kills in a row, why would you want to end the game prematurely? Wouldn't you want to just keep uh, your kill streak going and try and make it bigger than anyone possible? Just instead of just having it say, "Oh, I got a nuke." I mean, you know, to me that just it doesn't seem like it's really a good idea. I'm, I mean, I had my fair share of nukes that I got. I got something like 20 or something like that because I really didn't try for them in Mono for 2. I'm not going to try and explain myself about why I didn't get a certain amount or like White Boy like 300 or something like that because honestly, I don't care. 
about nukes. I didn't think it really proved any skill because we all know that all you had to do was really get a seven kill streak and you're gonna have a nuke basically. Because unless you had, unless you got into a game where people on the other team were complete dicks and just wanted to shoot your stuff down. So honestly, the only two nukes that I really cared about were my first nuke that I got, and I think I got that within the first week of the game being out. And then my first nuke without kill streaks, which I no, I didn't post to this channel. I posted this to a different one. My bad. So now that I've talked about some of the things that are returning in Monarch for three, I want to compare this game to Battlefield three and what I've seen from that game so far. Which I'm guessing they're gonna show esports is gonna show more of that at E three because they know that Monarch for three is you know slowly creeping into people's minds. They gotta get their minds back onto Battlefield three. So I'm guessing they're gonna show some single player. Uh, no, my bad, not single player. I'm guessing they're going to show some multiplayer because we haven't seen anything like that from Battlefield. And their uh, estimated date to be coming out is sometime in fall. But I'm, I've am i heard a couple of reports where they're going to be releasing in the same month and actually the same week as Monarch for 3, which would be very ballsy, but I don't think it would be a very smart move. But nonetheless, I am hoping for some Battlefield 3 gameplay at E3, which, I mean, we can all expect that will be there. So... From what I've seen from Battlefield 3, the graphics are just amazing. It looks like a CGI movie. Um, and if you don't know what CGI is, if you've ever seen any kind of, you know, it just actually the best way to explain CGI is go watch a Transformers movie. Pretty much that whole movie is CGI. Uh, it's I'm not really sure what CGI stands for, but it's basically just creating something that isn't there and putting it into a film and making it look like it was there to begin with. So. That's kind of what the game looks like. The graphics are just amazing. Uh, the single player that I've seen is pretty badass, too. I've, I mean, there was one point in that 12-minute uh, trailer that they put up where you have three teammates who put cover fire for you while you pop up with a rocket launcher and blow up a building. Like, that's fucking tight. That would be something I would expect the end of the game to have, not, like, just a random part of the game that they would show in... In August... Not August, my bad. In April, I mean... That's something that Modern for 3 would end with. So, you know, I'm honestly, if right now I'm on the fence of which game I think is going to be better. Uh, right now, based on what's happened with the last two Call of Duties, I have to give my have to give my hat off to Battlefield 3 and I honestly think that that will be a better game um, campaign and multiplayer wise. Uh, I think the fact that Call of Duty is going to be in the name of Modern Warfare 3 and it's going to be associated with it will be the reason that Modern Warfare 3 sells more copies. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that's still going to be a pretty good game. Uh, but, you know, we've seen the last two Call of Duties, you know, really, really tick a lot of people off. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 had, you know, its problems, which I know I don't need to go into. And Black Ops had hit, had its problems, which I really don't need to go into or don't really have time to go into. As I can see, the video is coming to a close soon. But, um, honestly, they really, they, Modern Warfare 3 really needs, is really a breaking point in the Call of Duty franchise. Because right now, as people have seen, there's been Call of Duty 4, which was considered its signature game, which everyone supposedly loved. Uh, I was really addicted to that game. That's the game that got me into the Call of Duty franchise. Actually, no, I played Call of Duty 3 before that, so. But that was the game that was addicting in Call of Duty. And then, Modern, well, World at War was an iffy game. Modern for 2 ticked a lot of people off, and Black Ops is seeming like it's ticking a lot of people off, too, and not really keeping people's attention and really keeping an enjoyable factor in the game. Uh, the reason I have Black Ops gameplay playing right now is I'm just trying to clear it out. I haven't played Black Ops in something like a month now. I've been playing Modern for 2 just... You know, playing Call of Duty in general. It's just Call of Duty 4. I, I want to play that game, but my connection sucks so much that it just goes to a terrible level uh, in Call of Duty 4. So, yeah. But um, the video is coming to a close, guys. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed the information that I've given to you. If you did, please make sure to like the video to help Digital Warfare 24/7 grow. And also, if uh, you did enjoy this video and you want to see more of this stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to Digital Warfare 24 7. And if you want to see more of my content, be sure to click the link in the description to come follow, come to my channel. And if you would like to, please subscribe to that channel. It would really help out. And I would really appreciate it. And I'm very active with my, with my subscribers. So it will not be a subscription wasted. So with that, guys, I will tip my hat off to you and say goodbye.
job team we are